Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do the reading for Taurus and this will be for the first half of January 2021. Um, if you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my page. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Um, don't forget time is fluid, energy is vice versa. Um, I also have a facebook group if you want to check it out it's in the same name same picture so you make it easy to find um if it doesn't resonate it's just a general reading it's not going to suit every single um taurus out there all right let's start taurus by the time this reading posts i hope you had a great christmas and new years as well I'll be doing some tarot and some oracle as well. Okay, Taurus, January. Taurus. Taurus. these and then we'll start so the first card you got is the sacral chakra Oops, really bad shuffle. so the sacral chakra is all about your emotions desires creativity sexuality um, it's knowing that you can express your sexuality nurture yourself and knowing you matter that's what the sacral chakra is this is the card here so we'll find out some more information. Tell me about your sacral chakra, Taurus. So you've got the Eight of Cups in reverse and you've got the Eight of Wands. Hmm, both eights. Um, so the Eight of Cups in reverse, that's all about you being indecisive. You're thinking, you know, do I want to try something again? Do I want to walk away? You kind of you know unsure about that which is probably why your emotions and desires are kind of all over the sh all over the shop um but also i mean that affects that but also uh you can also for your sacral chakra orange is obviously the color so if you want to wear an orange crystal if you want to do maybe yoga um you could do dancing uh, meditation any of that kind of stuff that will help with that as well but I mean, meditation is great anyway, and especially if you're indecisive about somebody, maybe try meditating on it. Um, but I mean, you know how you feel. You've also got the Eight of Wands. So you may get some communication from somebody. It can also be you can actually manifest quickly what it is you want. Um, it's all about fast paced change. Something may happen really quickly. You might just decide and, and you know somebody communicates and you make a decision really quickly. So it could be something as simple as that. Um, on the bottom you've got the Ace of Wands in reverse. So this person could be a distraction. It doesn't have to be your actual person. It could just be also this person's a missed opportunity. And maybe there is a delay to getting something you want. Um, or you may feel like you have lack of direction and yeah, that might be with somebody that you might see, maybe they're younger than you. Um, you might've seen them as like somebody that you could be with. Um, but you also maybe need to break the cycle with this person. So that's on the bottom. We'll shuffle it and go, make it quicker. I might try another tarot as well. Get a bit more information. Okay, so tell me about this for Taurus. So you've got the Hierophant. You might be married to this person, or you might, they might be married. Um, the Hierophant's also about, you know, religious beliefs and expectations, traditions. You know, a lot of people, they expect, you know, they want to go into something and they're thinking they're going to have the, you know, the family, the kids, the dog, the white picket fence. That's kind of, you know, 
what you expect, conformity, tradition, all those kind of things. And maybe you went into that feeling this way or maybe you are married to that person, um, but you do need to trust your intuition. This is all about the divine feminine. It's um, about trusting yourself. There might be some mystery with this person or some secrets you don't know. Which, you know, as I said, secrets. This could be um, about you having inner turmoil, you might have some fears, you might, you need, you need to kind of release any worry you have. But I mean, maybe you have those things because there are secrets about this person, which five of swords on the bottom, the five of swords is all about, um, it's a really very host, hostile kind of environment, hostile relationship that could be with, you know, maybe there's competition, like they were cheating. It could have been mind games. It could have been abuse. It could be they were stealing from you, any of that kind of stuff. Um, and as I said, the Three of Pentacles is underneath, which generally is the three people kind of card. Um, but maybe also you're just learning about this person, um, that this is what happened. Yeah, it could be something as simple as that. Um, but yeah, it's looking like maybe this person did something to you and that's, but now they're going to communicate and maybe they're going to come back in. I guess all you can do is trust your intuition because no, there are secrets. No, you know, if you don't know what went on, maybe that's what you're going to learn, but maybe you, yeah, trust your intuition. You're obviously very indecisive because the communication comes in. Let's ask. Okay. Tell me a bit more for Taurus. So you've got three of wands in reverse. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. These two came out together, right? Let's start with these two. So the King of Pentacles in reverse is the player energy. That's somebody who's obsessed with wealth status. Now, if you look at the picture, the guy's naked, first of all, with money. And he's got two people, one on each side, right? Who are you going to choose? It's like, yeah, player energy. but And especially in reverse, that's what it means. But you think that this person is like your Prince Charming, Maybe trust your intuition, as I said. I mean, the secrets, it could be that this person's a player. So just be very aware. Um, you've also got this, <laughs> another three. Three of wands in reverse. Now, this could be, I mean, it's easier to stay in your comfort zone. You might not be able to see beyond this person. You might think, as I said, you think this person is your, your Prince Charming. So why you think that? It's easier to stay there because you think this, this is the situation. Um, you can't see past them. But there is going to be obstacles. It's going to cause delays with finding the right person. You know, if this person is, is a player and, you know, are they your right person? Oh, my God. On the bottom of the deck. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. Three of Swords. Now, the Three of Swords is, like, the worst. It's also, like, emotional pain, heartbreak, divorce. But it's in reverse, though. So this is about you releasing the pain. You need to forgive this person and quit any negative self-talk. Become a bit more optimistic. But at the same time, it's like, I mean, you've probably been through this already, you know, the heartbreak and the pain and stuff. So it's like you're moving on, you're releasing that pain. But yet they're going to come and communicate. You think they're your Prince Charming and their secrets, which is probably them being a player. I mean, you know, I guess you've got to do with that information as you do, but you're, you know, that's up to you. Right. I should really mention on the bottom of this deck as well, we've got the moon card in reverse, which is about you releasing fear, any repressed emotion. You might have some inner confusion, which I mean, that's pretty obvious, isn't it? Um, you got emotional withdrawal in reverse, which is the exact same card as this one in reverse, the eight of cups, which is you being indecisive. So everything so far is about you being in January is about you being indecisive. Um, and then you've got the Ace of Cups in reverse. So you're hesitant to open your heart. This is not a new love. This is like in reverse. So you are hesitant to open your heart. It could be somebody very selfish. It could be somebody that's it's all ego based. Um, but, you know, you might be feeling anxious, worry, fear, depression, nightmares. You might not be, you know, able to sleep. You might be thinking about this person. You've got an overactive mind. You're regretting the past. But I think eventually you are going to move on. And I think you move on and I think that when you do, I mean, you're going to start future planning, you're going to 
because um, you got the waiting game in reverse. So I feel like it's you making progress, you know, but at the same time it's in reverse. So it's like you don't have a plan maybe, or you have impatience, you got inner conflict, you fear the unknown. As I said, it's easier to stay in your comfort zone. But it, instead of this way, it's like waiting, you know, the roots have to grow and, and grow your plant. But here it's like things could happen quite quick. So I feel like you're going to move on and maybe then things will happen quite quickly or you'll move on quite quickly. Could be either that. Right, so that's on the bottom of that deck. So the next cards you've got. So here you're indecisive. You think someone's Prince Charming. Um... Someone is definitely keeping secrets though. Um, and I feel like it could be, you know, this could suit multiple people, right? The situation could be either self-deceit. Maybe you are tricking yourself into believing something. I don't know. You, somebody's keeping secrets. Um, but at the same time, you're going to have a new beginning with the full card, which is like taking chances, new beginnings, fresh hope. So it could be you're moving on from somebody who is deceiving you to a new beginning. You decide, you make the choice, you're indecisive here, but then you make the choice and you think, I'm going to walk away, I deserve better, I want to move on from somebody who's deceptive, right? Or it could be somebody's keeping secrets, there's self-deceit going on, and then there's a new beginning, Could be any of that or all of that you've also got patience and planning in reverse so you know things are taking time slow progress there's impatience um, as I said there's decisions to be made for sure um, yeah let's ask let's get some more information I mean, I guess your options are if you think this person is pretty charming, unless you see the fact that they are a player or they are doing the wrong thing, is your new beginning going to be with them or is it going to be with somebody new and you just move on because you think, I don't want to be with somebody who's like that? Tell me more, the Taurus. Three of Cups. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Three of Cups in reverse is all about gossip. Some could be somebody gossiping about you. It could also be you just decide, you know what, I want to be independent and have some alone time. Or it could mean there are three people involved in the situation. Yeah. So maybe in this situation you decide you want a new beginning with this person that you think is your Prince Charming that's actually a player. They're still going to be a player. Or it could mean you have a new beginning and you decide to be a free spirit, have some fresh hope and be an independent person and just spend some time alone. And maybe the other person gossips about you, who knows. But there's some sort of, you know, and, and maybe for a lot of you it is going to be you're just going to be by yourself because you've got the Four of Swords. Now the Four of Swords is about you resting, retreating, contemplating meditating like in the picture the guy's just you know meditating being by himself and that's pretty much what it is um for others you know i mean there are going to be choices though you're going to have to make a choice maybe meditate about the choice or maybe you're just going to spend some time alone and maybe your choice it was you know you're weighing up was do i want to be with this person do i not do i want to be by myself do i not it's yeah juggling trying to decide what you want yeah, but for a lot of you, you are going to move on and leave the past behind. Mm. So maybe January is all about choices. You know, choices to go back to somebody who you know is that, or do you want to move on to something better and just be a free spirit, see what happens. Tell me more, Taurus. Oh. You might have known this person for a long time or you think like from, you know, 
when you're a child or somebody you knew, you know, for a long time, or you might just be thinking back about the past. It can also be, this card can also be about um, thinking you're going to get old with the person. Um, it can be that as well. So, yeah, a lot of memories. And you got the tower in reverse. This is you working on you. This is you fearing the change. You're averting the disaster. You don't want to make a decision. Or it actually, no, it could also be a good thing. It's like you know what they're like. You want to be a free spirit. You want to be independent. You might be thinking back about the past, but at the same time, you are doing the work on you and you're averting any kind of disaster by not getting back with this person and moving on. Could be that. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Um, that's you recovering from either a financial loss. It could mean having courage. It could mean you focus on your employment. It could also be, um, yeah, I mean, I always, I mean, it can be financial loss, but I always look at this as it can be a recovery from any kind of loss as well. Um, and like things, you know, if you move on, things are going to get better. You've got the sun card in reverse, like, I'm sorry, not in reverse, upright. So that's, yeah, really positive. The sun card is like the most positive card in the deck. It's all about material happiness, a joyous outcome, success, you know, positivity, warmth, all those kind of things. It's like, the, yeah, like a very, very positive kind of card. So I feel like if you walk away, things are going to get better. As I said, you go back there, you're just going to get more of the same. You know, they'll just get better at hiding it. Right, let's find out more. Bring more for Taurus. Oops, on my cards. It's not good. Oh, look what fell out. Three of cups. <laughs> Three people, same card. Okay. Tell me more for Taurus. Yeah, you got the hero font card again, which is the same as what you had before here. Same card. So you might have been married to this person, or there's some sort of, or they were married, maybe they were married, or they had a, I don't know, something going on there. Um, they were probably emotionally manipulative, moody, crafty, violent, or any, or all of the above. Um, it is going to end in a complete and painful ending. You are going to hit rock bottom. You are going to have deep wounds. There's going to be betrayal. There's going to be loss. It's going to be all those things. I mean, it's like, you know, stabbed in the back. Like, it's not a nice feeling. Um, so if you go back there, that's, it's not going to end well. It's not going to end with your wishes coming true. It's going to end in dissatisfaction and possibly illness because you're so concerned and not sleeping and, you know, stressed and all those things. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, oh my God, look what's on the bottom of the deck. Three of Cups. So, maybe turn to your friends. Maybe it could be... Um, and look, Eight of Cups is under that. You are going to move on. You are going to look for something better. Yeah, you might be disappointed. But as I said, you can choose to not go back there. Even if they communicate with you and offer and have that tower moment, you know. The tower is that really unwanted change. It can be an awakening. It can be a revelation. It can be some chaos or upheaval. But, you know, at the same time, you, maybe you get some inner clarity about a situation. And you realize that, you know what, this is not what I want. You know? Um, <coughs> so, the, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Let's have a quick drink. I think I choked on air. Right. <coughs> Could also be the sage burning. So, heartache and loss in reverse. The three of swords. As I said, you've had this card. You are going to release the pain. So here, if you go back, you're going to be ended up with the swords in your back. You are going to be deeply hurt. If, however, you decide to move on, you know... Be independent, be by yourself, you know, yeah, it's going to hurt, um, but it's not going to work with this person. But here you are, I mean, I always look at this card as getting over heartache and loss um, because you are releasing the pain. You are forgiving yourself 
for whatever you need to forgive yourself for. You know, you don't have to forgive them for whatever they did. You could just forgive them and move on. But you don't have to actually forgive them. You just, yeah, more forgive yourself. Um, release any negative self-talk. Become more optimistic. But it's like, yeah, moving on from heartache and loss. I always look at that. Like things are going to things are going to get better um but i think even if you try to avoid this tower moment it's still going to end the same it's still going to end in a complete and painful ending it's better you just move on be sad you know yeah you might have to grieve this situation and and you know maybe even then you're still hurt but do you want to go there again and end up more hurt because there's still the three of cups in reverse there. They're still going to do the same. So, yeah. Tell me more, Taurus. Sorry, that's my phone. Um, so you've got temperance in reverse. So the temperance in reverse is about self-healing. So, you know, you're moving on from heartache and loss. And then you're going to do some self-healing. There might have been um, an imbalance or an ex. They were doing an excess and stuff. As I said, it could be cheating. Um, there's four of pentacles on the bottom. Your four of pentacles is all about you wanting long-term security. You know, you, you, maybe you need to save some money. Maybe someone's possessive. You're resisting the change. But, you know, that's the situation. Um it's also, it means not the right time. It's not divine timing. It's not, um, but I think more it's you need to do some self-healing after a situation where somebody's hurt you. Okay, tell me more. So you got the hermit, yeah. I feel like you're a hermit and then you're going to possibly find somebody. You've got to move on from this person though. I think new love is going to come in, which is a romantic love. I mean, it could also be for a lot of you, um, you're a hermit and this person thinks, oh, it could also, this is just going to be a select few, but this person may come in and go, oh, let's get married. To think they're going to solve the problem. Could be that. But I think you need to be a hermit, be by yourself, you know, do some introspection, do some soul searching, be alone. Maybe you get some clarity about the situation. But then, I, you know, there's a romantic love coming. And that will happen when it's meant to. And you've got the Six of Swords in reverse. That's, I mean, that's great. That's you, you know, well, not in reverse, it's not, sorry. That's actually you resisting the change. You feel like there's unfinished business or somebody feels like there's unfinished business. Hmm. I don't know. You may, yeah, some of you may go back. All right, tell me more for Taurus. Mm. Okay. Oh, yep, some of you may reconcile. I mean, you've all got free will. That's your choice, all right? Seven of Cups. This is you possibly needing willpower, being determined. You may feel overwhelmed by whatever choices you've had. Um, you are going to, you know, it's going to take resilience. It's going to take courage. It's going to take you putting up your boundaries and strength to move on from something, you know. Um, but you've got the Five of Cups. Some of you are going to move on. It's kind of... It's kind of, I don't know, it's like choices, right? Your choices are you become a hermit or you go back. Maybe that's what it is. With everything, it seems to be like there's choices. Um, you know, do you want to, you feel like there's unfinished business? I mean, sometimes it's, is it worth, what are you going to get different? You know what I mean? Um, and you're feeling like you're overwhelmed by the choices and it's going to take willpower. Yeah, you're going to have to have your resilience and courage. And then the others are going to, you know, move on. I feel like you move on. You, If you do move on, it's like this could also be 
you're moving on. If you do move on and you be a hermit, you are going to get somebody new because miracles can happen. It's like it's like that sliding door movie. You remember that sliding door movie? It's like there's choices, right? You've got um, it's like there's choices. You either go back, you know what you're gonna get, or because you feel like there's unfinished business and you don't want to change, you don't like change, so you feel like you've got to go back, or you do change. And then you get somebody new. Be like a queen of swords person. Be very, the energy of that. Be very self-sufficient. Be honest, independent. Have clear boundaries. Be very direct with your communication. Don't speak around the truth. Say exactly what you feel. You know, this person might be watching you, but also it's about you feeling burnt out and restless. Um, but for a lot of you, you are going to move on and leave the past behind, as I said. Right, let's do a few oracle. I guess it's all about choices though, isn't it? It's all about what you decide to do. Oops. All right, give me some Oracle cards for Taurus. Taurus. Oh, I went flying. Oh, trustworthy guidance. So somebody's going to possibly come in with, with some sort of idea. Like, as I said, maybe for some of you, because it's in reverse, some of you it's like, oh, let's get married. That'd be a great idea. I'll offer you marriage because I think that way I can win you. And you know what? It's not real and trustworthy. Um, yeah, it's not. And, you know, you maybe you not getting with this person is a blessing in disguise you may not believe that but it's also about notice the signs as I said it's also about seeing this for what it is have they done work on themselves no it's like the end of the relationship okay let's get back together oh let's get married because that will sort out all our problems I mean you've all got free will though you've always got a choice you know what I mean in the end it's up to you what you choose to do with your life but it's like the sliding door movie you may have children with this person and you know i guess if you move on you can get which you may be in separation from this person at the moment and as i said with the hero front card religious factors may be involved you feel like you don't deserve love but you need to call in your soulmate and i think if you do you're going to get true love but at the moment it's like you're too busy wrapped up and you maybe you need to work on you Yeah, I feel like it's kind of giving you like the sliding door movie. Of course. Yeah, somebody is definitely going to talk to you. But I don't feel like they have any desire to actually make it work. You're just an option to them. You're going to be strung along. One night stand. And maybe because you're codependent or they're codependent or there's addictions, there's obsessions. Somebody wants to control. It's like they can't have what, the, you know, they want what they can't have. Maybe talk to friends, as I said. You're not really accepting and you've got no inner peace of this whole situation. I mean, maybe you need to find somebody to talk to about this. You know, some friend that you trust, maybe talk to them and get some advice, you know. Because when we're outside of the situation, we can see things a lot clearer than when we're in it. Oh my goodness. So maybe getting some advice from somebody else that you trust. Okay, last cards for Taurus. Give me 
new card for Taurus. Maybe they don't want you to have any. Yeah, it's not going to end in a happy ending. What more can I say? Um, I mean, maybe you've got to trust the universe. Be by yourself. Individuality. Be by yourself. Love you for you. Um, yeah. They've got compassion under that. Maybe there's something in that for you. But I feel like it's not going to end in a happy ending. I mean, the person's going to keep doing the same thing. But it's your choice. Anyway, that's all I have for Taurus. I hope that helps and um, resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you for the mid-month reading. Okay, bye.